Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. Um, this is a continuation from the last video, so if you missed that one, you might go check that one out before you watch this one. Or if not, to get you caught up real quick, I had a cow um, that had a calf two-ish months ago. Calf was pretty young, we moved him into a new pasture, and the baby calf ended up eating a piece of poison hemlock, I'm assuming, and it, uh, and it ended up killing him within an hour or two after moving him into that pasture. So um, she had a dead calf. Uh, we took care of the calf. We moved her back home and we moved the cows this morning. Her udder is 110% full, I'd say. Uh, it's so full, it's she's leaking a little bit. So she hasn't fed a calf in 36 hours roughly. So she has a lot of milk built up and I'm sure it's pretty uncomfortable for her. So we're gonna pick up a calf here in a couple minutes, get it home and then try to relieve some of that pain out of her udder, give the calf some drink, and uh, hopefully get this calf grafted onto the cow. So as you can see behind me, just got the calf picked up. Short little drive home. Um, this one's actually about a week old. He's still half fleck V, and then the other half is some kind of dairy. Uh, the cow is a solid black, so I'm guessing she was Holstein Jersey Cross or something like that. Um, but, calf looks pretty good dogs checking him out um, anyway he's about a week old and there's the cow that lost her calf that I got in he's not gonna be hungry because he just came off his mama she is not gonna want to let him suck because she just lost her calf recently so um, I'm not gonna try to put them together tonight at all I'm going to drop him off in this little pen it's not supposed to rain or storm or anything or get cold so I'm gonna stick him in here. He has some bedding there to sleep on. I may actually get her into the chute and try to milk her just a little bit. Um, Cause what I don't want to happen, I don't want her to get mastitis. Um, and I also, I also don't want her to stop producing milk. After a couple days of nothing sucking, cows will start slowing down milk production until they quit all the way. Just because I think they don't have a calf to nurse anymore, so. We're gonna try to keep the milk flowing and maybe get her milked out just a little bit. Um, and then tomorrow morning when he's a little more hungry, we will try to get him to nurse off of his new mother. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so it's later in the evening. I'm gonna try to get her in and get her milked. We've got the calf out here. Feisty. Come on now. Not through there. Anyway, we'll see how she's doing. Doing okay? Yes. Okay. Anyway, you gotta go. Come on. Come on. Come on. She doesn't want to go, we'll see if she'll follow me. Looks like she will. This is one reason why I don't want to get rid of her. <laughs> Come on. Come on. The other one that's a pet that has a white face, she runs into me. She's too aggressive. Friendly, but too aggressive, so this one is really... This one's really laid back and gentle, so I like I like her a lot more. So come on. Close the gate on her. Just to get her going. Come on now. Come on. Back up. Nope. Nope. Hey, now, no jumping. Hey. Okay, so 
she's got her grain to keep her happy. I've got my clean bucket to put her milk in. If she'll let me, she may not. Guys, I was gonna show you getting her in and letting the calf suck this morning. He was bawling all night, he was hungry. And I don't know if you can see, she was letting him suck for about 30 seconds. And then of course, when I started walking over here, uh, she changed her mind. But he has definitely sucked a little bit because, there he goes. He is pestering her constantly. And I think she's just occasion, occasionally just letting him suck. So I was going to put her in, but if he keeps pestering her, that's a lot better. And then maybe she'll accept him a little quicker. I may still get her in and see if, see if she'll... See if she'll let him suck when I give her grain in the chute. And just had to distract her with a little bit of grain. Calms her down and lets him suck. So hopefully he'll drink out of all four quarters and uh, get all the milk out of there so she's not as sore. Anyway, good looking calf. He's pretty good size, so not necessarily the paint job I'm wanting, but. He's probably one to end up selling for beef since he won't bring much. Still going. We're about two minutes in. He's moved on to the other back quarter. You can tell the left side is pretty well empty now. The right side's got quite a bit in it still. So I think he's doing a good job pestering her and I can't expect her to accept a calf yet. She just lost her calf a couple days ago. so. I'm guessing by about day three or four, she'll probably take him. That's the goal. I'm pretty happy with this for day one. He sucked three out of the four. I'm hoping he'll suck a little bit out of this front one here before he quits. I mean, he's getting a lot of milk. <laughs> you can already tell his stomach's already swollen up a bit, so. Okay guys, he sucked all four. Um, she's pretty much out of milk, and he has had plenty. And that's just what we want to see. The more she gets used to him nursing outside the chute, 
better off we are going to be. As long as he doesn't get kicked too bad, he won't get discouraged. So. He's already had plenty for the day though, or the morning. We'll get him, get him some more milk this evening. It is day number two now. Yesterday morning was the first time I let the calf suck in the head shoot, and that was the first full day they were together. Um, the evening she was letting him suck, so I think I think we're gonna be okay just after one feeding. They're currently bedded down on where she had hay. You two doing okay? I think so. And you may be able to tell we're supposed to get a lot of rain here in the next three hours. It's supposed to start raining in the next three hours, I should say. And it's supposed to be thunderstorms and all that. Camera doesn't do the dark clouds justice, but I think she may be accepting this calf already. Like I said, I didn't have to get him in last night. She let him suck while he was out here. And since this storm is coming, this is all dry dirt in here. I don't want them sitting in mud, um, especially the calf, because he'll probably get sick and she is stressed out, so she might get sick too. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let him out into that little pasture there. There's plenty of grass there for her to munch on. She came from green pasture and she was not happy with me when I just gave her hay. So um, we're gonna move them onto green grass. And they've also got some trees in there for a little bit of a rain break. I'm gonna get him up. There we go. And now, I'm just gonna open the gate. And see what happens. Come on, buddy, you gotta follow. There we go. Wrong way. Wrong way. There we go. The wind just keeps pulling more and more pieces off the barn. We have to clean up. We tried and we tried nailing them back on, but in less than a year later they all just blew right back off, so the barn needs some rehabbing. And we're off. She's already getting to grazing. There we go. He is nursing. And she's not kicking. Definitely not gonna let them out into the big cow herd again for a while um, because yes, she's sort of letting them nurse. Of course, not while they're walking, but she is letting him nurse, um, but I don't think she's really claimed him yet. And I want, I want her to actually claim him before I let him out. So I'm gonna keep them probably in this little lot here. Maybe move them in to that field with the Holsteins and uh, as you can see, she is grazing away and he's doing a little nursing. Anyway, I thought there'd be more to this video than just the one feeding, uh, but it turns out she ended up being a pretty good mother. So she is at least letting him suck. We'll see how they do for the next couple days. And uh, yeah, I think this is already a success in just one day of feeding and putting them together. This is not all that common. There's a lot of cows that it takes them a long time to take a calf, like a couple weeks. There's other cows that won't ever take one. And then you get one that's cooperating nicely like her and she'll take them in a day, day and a half. So, hmm. Anyway, I am pretty happy with this. That's less work I have to do since she already took him. And she is happy grazing on some clover. 
So anyway guys, with that being said, I guess I'm gonna call it a video. Thank you all for watching. I will see y'all next time.